Hot or cold? Today we make some drinks look good. Sounds average. In today's episode, we'll be talking about how to make your average cup of joe in the morning look amazing and a cold drink that will make your Instagram pop. So today we're gonna more focus on the aesthetics and not so much on the camera technical stuff. No. So we're gonna use ordinary household items to really make Really simple. Your, yeah. And we guarantee that by the end of this episode, you'll be able to make your morning coffee look like you're in a hotel. Yeah, and you can call yourself a food influencer or something. Nonsense. Yeah. From average to influencer. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So my job was to take the photo of that uh, juice bottle. I had the idea to make it interesting by putting the bottle into the freezer the night before so the bottle would look a bit more interesting as it's frozen. So. Here's some tips I found out when I was taking photos of this bottle. Firstly, when you're taking photos of food or drinks, you should always try to take it under natural light. So turn off all the lights in your house and disable your camera flash. You can try to rotate your subject to get the best lighting. And pro tip, you can use blue tack to every object so that it doesn't roll around on your, your scene. Keep your background simple but interesting. So in this photo we had this, uh, it's like a marble tile, but you can use almost anything as a background, a piece of wood or maybe a concrete floor. Keep the color scene simple and you can try to use the opposite colors for more refined look. For example, this image, I could have added some blue since blue is the opposite of orange. So that would complement the orange color. I like to shoot so that not everything is inside the photo frame. That way the photo looks to continue more outside of the frame and thus it looks more like a natural setting. Try adding details to your photos by sprinkling in some berries or salt or just any ingredient that suits your photo. So anything you can find, you can use in your photo. So that was my photo and now it's Janne's turn. All right, so you get out of bed, you got your cup of coffee, I'm gonna take a photo of it, of it for Instagram or your social media purposes. What do you do to make it look hot? When we're dealing with a dark subject like coffee, uh, the easiest way, of course, is place it on some white background, make it look nice. You know, it will work, and I'll show you the first photo. It's a nice photo, it works, it does the job, but it's nothing spectacular. We wanna make it feel like it's a cold winter's day and it's kind of steaming and cozy. But to make that steam, um, we're gonna need to change things up a bit. So the first thing to do is to take the cup of coffee away from the white background and to put it against something a bit darker so you can make that steam pop. And also, it helps to separate the background and foreground by moving your subject away from the background itself. So the sun is slightly hitting it. I'll be able to create a much darker background. So unlike Jonas's photo, I don't have a lot of things to work with uh, in terms of color, but I have texture. So I'm gonna add some more texture by placing it on, on this nice wooden, wooden pillar thing and adding some more things that the light can really bring out. This will actually work. Amazing. Now the problem with this is that since it's not steaming, we need to do some, something about it. All right, so, ne so the next step is how on earth do we make a cold cup of coffee steam? Now you, you could of course run to the microwave, heat it up and get that steam out of there, but you don't really have a lot of control over, it, over that. So we decided to do a little different. And the first thing is we, we took a household item that we have lying around, a good old steamer. Now what I did here is I asked Jonas to hold the steamer right behind the coffee cup out of view and see what we could get. Now already the results were a lot better. As you can see from the videos, we had this kind of wooden color background. So we flipped the table and we noticed that it had a dark blue background and we got even more separation. Now the important thing here is that to be able to get that steam to really pop out, you need some kind of a hardish light source. And First of all, we tried, with, Jonas took out his uh, cell phone, he, he kind of used his cell phone flashlight to light the thing, and it worked to a degree, but to our luck, we also got some direct sunlight, which really helped. Oh yeah, okay, that was actually nice. 
All right, so now we have steam. What do we do next? We are almost there, but I want some more feeling in this. So let's bring some heat gain by adding colors that really make this thing feel warm and happy like a Sunday morning. Everyone always spills their coffee beans on their coffee yeah. table. So we're gonna do the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in a few flowers, one for the background, one for the foreground that accentuate and that, that are in line with the current color palette that we already have. Old English proverb, if you don't have a forest, let the forest come to you. People often think that you can't do a lot with a pancake lens like this, like create a nice depth of field. But when you bring a subject close enough and far enough from your camera and you get in there, even at f5.6, which where I was at, you will get this super nice separation and bokeh in the images. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> now surprisingly, yeah, I've never done food photography in my life. So that was actually the first. Yeah. You, you've done some, right? I've done some, but uh, I'm not a professional. Okay. So. But I don't see your, see your results since... Yeah, uh, I actually edit my photo in my mobile phone. Oh, cool. So I can, so that I can show you that any, anyone can do it. That's so, straight out of your mobile. Yeah, that's straight, after, straight out of the camera and... You people have to see this. That is amazing, Jonas. Oh, thank you. So uh, yeah, I just pumped up the saturation a bit and the contrast and that's about it. It so, was all natural light and it took me like five minutes. I, I like that it's simple. There's, there's not too much going on. You just went, you went with the colors, you went, went with the orange, you added a splash of it on the side. Yeah. But hey, like zooming in, what is, what is this? Uh, is it, it looks, like water it or something? Wet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sprinkled some water from the water spray gun, ah. or whatever. And it just looks more juicy and it's really oozing out the, that's like the fruitiness. Yeah, that's like the classic, you know, beverage bottle. Yeah. Dropping droplets sizzling yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, that's production value. Instant. And that is a cheap production value you can get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it turned out pretty great. I, I think I think you did fantastic. Mm. Was there anything about the light that because I really like the contrast here. What did you do with the light? Well, it was all natural light. It's just in front of the window. Yeah, and it, and it was like five minutes of shooting and natural light, nothing special. Yeah, that's good. I think it's also the black background. It kind of really makes the contrast. Yeah, and, and I like that there's some details in the background. It's not just straight black or straight yeah, yeah, white. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, good job. How about your photos? How did it go? You want to see mine? Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay. So I, I took a bunch of photos, but I'm gonna show you three different stages of it. Okay. So the first one would be kind of the, I just popped it, popped it in front of the window thing. Okay, so That's, you did nothing. I did here. nothing. Yeah. And this is, this is, you know, what I would do in the past kind of yeah. things. Like, yeah. oh, well, I woke up, here's my cup of coffee. Click, yeah. thing. But it looks nice, but it looks cold. That could be like a cold brew yeah, yeah, true. or anything. So I really want to give it that steam. So the next step was no. to be able to make the steam and kind of like to give it more mood. Mm. I want to make it darker. Yeah. Because if it's not dark, dark enough, you won't be able to see all the steam, etc. Yeah. So I backlight, gave it that uh, kind of wo wooden thing underneath mm -hmm, to give, mm -hmm. it, give it a bit more structure. And just add a, bit, add a bit of flair. And the next step was you. That's wow. all you, right? The steam. You like it, right? Yeah. It look looks like it's coming straight out of the cup. Yeah, it does. And it's from the steamer. It's from the steamer. That's all from the steamer. Yep. That, that's what happened. I really already liked this one, mm -hmm. but I think the problem was that it looked a bit more, a bit too much like a coffee commercial, and yeah. I wanted to feel it more, more of like a hygge, like hey, this is my morning, yeah, yeah. you know, kind of a thing. Make it really feel more warm and more cozy. Yeah, yeah. And I think this worked out great. Yeah. It was very, very professional, and this was sweet. Uh, really. Uh, first, let me ask you a question. If you did, if you, if you saw this just like this, what aperture of lens would you think this was shot, shot on? I would think this was like 90 millimeters. At f? Uh, like f 2.8. Yeah. <laughs> well, I shot it at 40 mil at 5.6. Wow. So that's all the flowers coming right in front of the lens and yeah. getting it far enough. Yeah. It's amazing what a little trickster it does. Yeah, and it's a pancake lens, right? It's a pancake lens, straight. That's a kit lens you get out with the camera. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that would be my like that would be my main tip. What I got out of that is yeah. you know, it's really try things out. You know, if you have something that works, go with it. But if you're not totally happy, you know, do droplets, put water in things, mm. splash your camera if it's mm. if you can take it. Don't don't splash your camera if it's not a waterproof camera. <laughs> but you know, but you can splash your food. You can splash your food. Food works. Hey, but I think we did an amazing job, and that is worth celebrating. Yeah. So yeah, we should take a toast. Uh, we should. 
So this bottle of yours, which I have no idea what is in here. Yeah. Would you like so, to enlighten me? So this is uh, sea buckthorn. It's sea a buckthorn. really sour berry that grows in the Nordics. How, how sour? Uh, pretty sour. Okay. Wanna try? All right, let's give it a try. Yeah. That tastes healthy. Yeah. That's All right. Good. Until next time, we thank you and stay average and fine and make keep making some great photos. Always welcome.